Hi, my name is Christina Reed. I am with Cleveland County Extension Office. I'm the program assistant, and today I am gonna show you how to pin insects. Today, we're going to pin some insects, and the first thing I want to show you is the difference between a good specimen and a bad specimen. This will help with deciding what side to place your pin. If you see here, I have a butterfly whose wings are damaged on this side and it's missing its antenna. When pinning a insect, you have to keep half of the bug undamaged. So when I pinned this one, I pinned on the right side because the specimen is already damaged on that side. If you have a good specimen, like this moth who has its antennas, and nothing is wrong, you can choose which side to pin. Just remember that you cannot pin in the middle, you have to be right side or left side. Now, okay, so you have to have special insect pins which are really thin. And what you want to do, so insects have six legs, but when you pin, you want your pin to go in between the first two sets of legs. So on this one, I'm gonna pin, you can kind of see a line drawn on him, so it makes it very easy to show right and left. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin to the left here. Some of the shells are hard, you have to apply a little pressure. And you want to make sure your needle is straight up and down, not going backwards or forwards. And you're going to push it in about halfway, and then you can raise a little bit. And you want your bug to look natural. So this is a water beetle, and his legs are normally like this, so he is good to go. If you look at this roach that I have over here, you will see that I've placed his legs the way he looks when he's walking around, and I've pinned it. He's been sitting here a few days, so I can take these off, and now I have my specimen, and he's natural looking. Next, I am going to show you how to pin moths and butterflies. You'll see my board has these little grooves that are different sizes. When it comes to the moth or butterflies, and dragonflies, what you want to do is place them where their bodies fit into the groove. Butterflies and moths' wings have to be straight across like this. And to do this, you take strips of paper, you get the wings to where you need them, take strip of paper, lay on top, and pin it down and it holds it and sometimes you'll have to do it with their bottom wings make sure your strips are tight You'll leave them like that for a few days, and then afterwards you will be able to pin them in your box. If you see here, I have a really small beetle. And if I tried to put my pen in this beetle, I would damage the whole bug, which does not give me half of a bug to do proper identification. So in cases where you have little bugs like this, you create these little arrows with paper, and you're gonna bend it. Take a little bit of Elmer's glue and place it at the tip of your arrow and then just glue one side to your bug. And it'll look like this when you glue and then you just stick your pin into your arrow for pinning. Thank you for watching this video on how to pin bugs. 
If you have any questions, please contact your County Extension Office, 4-H Department. Thank you. Mm -hmm.